Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I hope you guys the day one starter guide for type so I'll be talking about every single race, what to do, and just everything about this game. So if you guys end up enjoying the video, like and subscribe to the channel. My current goal is 15,000 subscribers. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so obviously when you first load in, you guys get to pick between your races. I will have a video out soon um, giving my opinions on what the best race is. But at the current moment, I would just pick whatever you want, really. Um, it really, like, they're all very, uh, minuscule differences. Some are better early game, some are better late game. Once again, I will have a full video explaining it. Um, but the number one tip that I can give you is just don't pick something that you don't want to play. Um, because at the end of the day, they're all about equal. You can be a good player with any of the races, so I would just pick one that you genuinely enjoy. Once when you load in, uh, you guys, uh, go up here to this diff box right here. You type in all the codes, and that is where you actually spin for stuff. Um, and that, once again, is all up to you. Whatever you want to spin for, whatever uh, weapon you want to use, whatever shita you want to use, that is all up to you. There's a bunch of build variety inside this game. Then you guys, uh, like, even if you're level 1, um, the next thing to do is pick out what build you want to run. Pick out if you want to go speed, tendo, medic, really doesn't matter. Um, I will have a video explaining what the best skill tree is, but they're all about equal, I'm not going to lie. Um, you can be good with any of the skill trees, it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, pretty much for your build, for your race, all that, do whatever you want. You can be good on any build. Now we get to actually leveling up. So these mission boards over here is basically the universal way to level up. Obviously everything else has some very specific, um, you know, things that you actually do. But this is the universal way to level up. You just go to these boards, boom, you did a mission, boom, you kill whatever you need to kill, or do whatever you have to do, and then you did XP, boom, pretty easy. I believe you can also get XP just by killing people. That is not the method that I recommend unless if you have a bunch of friends and you're just running around ganking. Um, you can do that way, but the easiest way is just to do it the PvE way and just run around doing missions. Uh, once when you get to, I believe it's grade 2, that is when you can get your Shitai, Partial Res, and your uh, Shrift. Now, I do have a video on how to get Shitai already. Partial Res is an obby, and then... Um, Shrift, you guys just have to kill people pretty much. There is videos, separate videos on all of these. I have made the Shitai one, but I know a lot of people have made the other ones as well. Um, so it's like you guys can just go watch those. I don't even know how to get Shrift or um, Partial Res. All I know that it's an obby and one you just have and uh, Shrift, you just have to kill a lot of people. Um, but yeah, after you guys get that, then your pretty much next goal is to get a uh, special grade because that is when you guys can unlock ranked and get skill boxes. Ranked is very, very easy for skill boxes and armor. That is what I recommend to do. Now, maybe it's not the greatest idea. Um, you have to be obviously a really, really good player. Um, but if you do believe in your skill, then once when you unlock special grade, you guys, you know, could try to hop inside ranked, you know, have a little bit of fun, um, you know, interrupt your little level grind, you know, have a little bit of fun playing ranked. Um, even if you just stomped every time, I feel like it would still be pretty fun just, you know, to just stomp. Learn the name. Pretty much once when you did special grid, my opinion, learn the name a bit more, run around, PvP, just have fun for a little bit, play ranked, and then come back and hit um, elite grade. Because if you guys just go from special grade to elite grade all in one go, um, it's very boring. If you want to do that, you guys can go ahead. Um, but for your own sanity, that's not what I'm going to recommend you guys to do. I would definitely recommend hitting special raid and then start practicing with your friends. Go do ranked. Go do something to actually learn the game systems and PvP. Um, and then once you guys are done with that, now you can hit elite grade, get the rest of your skill uh, points, all that. Once when you guys are elite grade is when I start recommending doing raids. I don't recommend doing raids until you guys are elite grade. Now, the main reason for that is because you guys don't want to like unlock first stage for Bontai and then have to go back and level up. Nobody wants to do that. So what I recommend to do is hit Elite Grade and then start working towards your Bontai. I do have a full video explaining the Rex for um, Bontai, you know, Volt Singing and all that. Um, yeah, you guys can go to my channel for that. But once we guys are done with Bontai, it is actually pretty easy now. Um, it should take like, I don't know, maybe an hour or two to unlock Bontai. I'm not going to lie, they made it super easy. Um, and then you guys are pretty much almost like, you're basically almost done with the game. All that you have after that is, you know, just PvP. Or I'm really like this is for a minuscule amount of people, just as how like hard it can be. Um, or you can unlock Visor and True Visor. Um, to get that, you get Hidoku fragments, and then I believe a True fragment as well, or a True frag. Um, and then yeah, that's how you get Visor and True Visor. Obviously, you guys can do it for your own thing. I don't know, like Let's and all that. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much what 
what you do you like after that you just pvp have fun in the game do clan wars do raids and all that uh what i do want to explain real quick is going to be raids though because raids does confuse a lot of people um raids right here you guys go to your server list this is the best way to do it so you guys can see these red ones are raids in um in progress these are raids in progress these are raids already going on if something is going like a uh, light blue that is that means that it is a raid that is about to start so it hasn't started yet those are the ones that you guys are done one join because then you guys just join a fresh raid and can actually you know do it from the start um i also highly recommend joining your own races discord every single race has their own discord the wander tech one um the story for one then there's also one for ron cards i highly recommend joining that because that is where you can find uh raids that you know your fellow um races are doing because if you're a Soul Reaper just trying to join random ones and pray that their Soul Reaper's in there, it will be way harder. And 90% of the time, it will just be a Twincy server. Because Twincy's kind of running the name right now, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, like I said, it really just is up to you. Um, I will have a bunch of guides if you guys want to metamance for the, you know, the best skill trees, the best races. All of that will be out after this video. But my number one tip is just to enjoy, at least enjoy your first slot. You guys, just take the time, enjoy your first slot. Um, you know, just play the game for fun because then when you actually go to play the game, you know, for serious like comp, like clan wars, ranked and all that. Um, yeah, you start to honestly lose your sanity. I'm not going to lie. This game is very rage bait. Um, so that's just my personal opinions. Once again, this is a starter guide. If you guys want to like blow your brains out, go ahead. Um, but this is just my own tips for starters. If you're watching this and you're already an experienced player and you've already experienced this when the game already, like first came out, go ahead and do whatever you want. But as a starter new player, what I recommend to do is use your first slot kind of for fun. New slots are only 200 and you automatically get twos um, like when the game you know, opens. I believe in like four hours your first slot will open up so you guys will actually have two slots. Um, so I recommend using the slot that you started on just kind of for fun. Learn the game, learn the pairing times, learn all that. And then your second slot is where you guys can actually, you know, metamance, play the game for comp, clan wars, raids. Uh, you guys can join, you know, clans and stuff like that. And actually, you know, maybe play the game competitively. It's up to y'all. Um, but yeah, the one thing that I do want to mention is if you are going into this game as a PvE player, once when you unlock Bonkai or uh, Volt Standing or all that, um, there's almost nothing for you to do. I'm not gonna lie, because you're not gonna want to farm the same bosses over and over and over again. They're just not that fun of bosses. Um, they're not the potent bosses. Like, they're just not nearly as fun, and they don't have nearly as much impact in the game. So, if you are someone that really isn't, you know, too heavy on PvP style of games, um, and if you guys haven't already started the game, I just wouldn't even recommend picking it up. This is a PvP game at its core. Um, yeah, they're adding PvE stuff. But at the end of the day, it is a PvP game. Um, but yeah, that's just my starter guide. You guys can feel free to leave your own thoughts. You know, you guys, if you guys disagree, agree. If you're experienced players and think that this, you know, will help new players, let me know. Um, but yeah, my number one tip is just to enjoy your game uh, the first time. If you guys want to actually metamance your second slot, I will have a bunch of videos about metamancing, like, you know, best builds, uh, best race, all that. Those are all going to be out today as well. Um, and yeah, if you guys are watching this, happy Easter. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.